great job, and they have a lot of different tight ends that they use to block. And 42, I mean, you see by all the Pro Bowls, Pro Bowlers that they have on their team, um, and they also have some great receivers on the outside that block as well. So, uh, I mean, their, their run game is dynamic, and I mean, the heartbeat of that is definitely number eight. I mean, he makes it go, uh, right? If it's him pulling the ball or even being a, a distraction of him letting the ball go and then running out there, uh, he's just a great player, great offense. I mean, we have no choice but to be the underdogs at this point. We're going to go into a lot of hostile environments in this playoffs, and this is it's the, it's the next step. And uh, Baltimore is going to be rocking. Um, we kind of take that mentality, everyone on the road being road warriors, uh, trying to go up there and stopping the run and also running the football well and playing great defense. So we understand that that's what's going to have to be uh, going on the road up there again and trying to force some turnovers. We can force some turnovers, stop the run, and uh, be great. You know, and not really letting, giving up any big plays. I think it's going to be huge for us as well. No big plays in the past game, no huge runs. I think we'll be just fine. You know what they can do defensively if you get behind. I mean, there's a lot of pressure on you guys to keep this one tight, isn't there? I mean, uh, I think it's pressure on both sides. Uh, I think it's pressure on our on our defense to, of course, facing a dynamic offense that they're facing. Uh, it's pressure on our offense to be able to run the football well and do what they have to do in the pass game and stuff like that. But I mean, I also think it's pressure on them. They're the number one seed. Uh, I will say we're coming in as one of the more hotter teams, I guess, coming out, uh, getting a good win in the, in, the, in the playoffs against the Patriots. So, I mean, it's pressure on both sides. But I think the main thing is, I mean, it's just football. The field dynamics, uh, dimensions haven't changed. Uh, it's going to be about who's going to come out there and be the most prepared team to go win this ball game. You guys take some motivation that you just knocked out the defending Super Bowl champs and now you're 10-point dogs and nobody's giving you any chance to go beat this team? I mean, uh, the motivation is going to go win the Super Bowl. I don't think we're going to take a motivation about going into an environment and being an underdog because that's kind of what we already expected. I think the, the motivation is to go out there and try to go uh, beat a great quarterback again, which is Lamar Jackson. We take a lot of pride in our defense, uh, in our secondary room, by uh, playing great teams like this and doing what we have to do to go up there and get a win. And we'll feel good about that. Ryan said Coach Brabel uh, showed you guys some cut up to some explosive plays from Lamar to the whole team. Right. Was there a specific message to everybody with that? Uh, I mean, the guy is so dynamic. I think, honestly, the message is, is that at the end of the day, if you get this man some seams on the insides and stuff like that, this guy can be or is the most dynamic player in the NFL. But if you can find a way that everybody's being disciplined, like you said, in their run gaps and in their scheme, to make to push this guy lateral and push him to the sideline, I think he's less dynamic. Uh, he's still going to be a dynamic player. He can still outrun everybody towards the sideline. But if we can chase him down and make him run out of bounds, that's going to be our best-case scenario.